And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go ahead, go, go. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where you will find a former idiot answering your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. And I'm hoping it's the avoiding because getting past the idiocy sucks. It's way harder. Just don't mess up in the first place. Take it from me. Today's question is how do I find my northern star or more commonly, how do I find my passion? Now, for those of you that don't know what a northern star is, it's basically exactly what it sounds like. You know, you hear those stories where the kids are lost in the woods and they need to find which direction, and the one kid knows, oh, if we follow the northern star, our camp is mm-hmm. north. So what does that mean? It just means they know what direction they're going in, and they know that if they're not following that northern star, that they're going in the wrong direction. This is the same thing for you and your life what it is that you love that you want to follow one really tough thing is a lot of times those things that you love growing up which is where i think you do find your northern star it's kind of funny how that works out but as you're growing up the things that you you know that you really enjoy doing and you're really passionate about usually people try to put the label on them as hobbies and then when other people put the labels on them as hobbies you put them on as hobbies and then you don't take them seriously when in reality those hobbies and those those passions and stuff that you had when you were younger can really turn into something really big as an adult. You just have to look at them the right way. So this is this is going to help you kind of evaluate yourself if you don't know what your northern star is and help you kind of find what that northern star is. And then I'm going to show you the power of the northern star. There's nothing easy about this. This is difficult. It's difficult to, to follow the northern star because it's just a direction. It's not a path. And people like paths. People love a paved road over a overgrown hillside and a direction. It's much easier to go, let's do A plus B because that equals C 99% of the time as opposed to let's do A plus X minus 4Q, 12PY because it could equal this. That doesn't even make sense. I know. But that's what people are looking at. So people like paths. They don't like directions. But the power of the northern star and the power of your direction is huge. So I'm going to tell you how I did it, and I'm going to try to break it down in a way so you can use apply it to your life and then help you find your northern star. If you're not happy where you are right now in life, if you're just maybe not unhappy, but you're just confused, you just don't know what to do, maybe you're in early 20s, late 20s, maybe even early 30s, and you're asking yourself, what am I going to do? What am I supposed to do with my life? what's my purpose, that kind of stuff. Hopefully this will help you with that. This is something that I did not go through until my early 30s. So if you're in your early 30s or late 30s or early 40s or whatever, just remember it's never too late because we're all going to live till we're 70, 80, 90 years old. So just think about even if you're 55, you still have 25, 30 years of your life to find your northern star and to head in that direction and trust me once you're on it, it is, you'll realize it is never too late to find it because it feels freaking awesome not easy but awesome step one how do you even begin to find your northern star you have to reflect you have to reflect on your life and you have to look back on your life and think about things that stand out to you what i did is i just looked back when I was going through all my stuff and I looked back and I said, okay, when was I more focused? When were things clear? When did I have a better idea of who I was and a better direction? Because I had lost that. And how did I know I lost that? Because I was getting caught up in stuff that I knew wasn't me. But somehow I had gotten myself into a position where I was being able to be pulled in the wrong direction and that's how you know you're lost that's how you know you don't have a good foundation and i did not have a good foundation so i thought back okay so when did i have a good foundation and for me my strongest foundation my most clear on who i was and what my goals were and i was much less um wavering in them was when i was in college so 18 to 22 and what were things that i was doing then 
that I loved doing that I think maybe could have added to that sense of purpose and that sense of identity. What I was doing, I was, I was running all the time, all through the hills of San Diego and, and La Jolla. And I was learning stuff that I loved. I was a political science major. Politics is very interesting, especially this year with this election year. Holy crap. And I was recording punk rock music in my closet, literally in this little baby closet in the room. I had my little four track and everything. And I was recording music. So music, running and learning. That's what I was doing. These are things that kind of always popped up. I did music in high school and then it went away because it's just a hobby. And I was doing running in high school, but it's just running. What's the big deal? And then it kind of goes away and then it pops back up again. Now I'm running again and I'm doing music again. And then it goes away and then it pops back up again. Then I'm running, then I'm doing music. So I go, okay, there's something, there's something to this. I love music. And I remember sitting in, sitting in uh, this room with, with my daughter and we were listening to a Less Than Jake CD. And she was dancing to it. And I got this like tingly feeling in my head and it kind of, I felt it through my whole body and it was like, that was it. That's a feeling that I can't get anywhere else is uh, music. There's something about music that I just, I love. So I think that's it. I think that's my passion. My passion is music. That's my Northern star. So I'm going to head in that direction. Maybe you don't have an activity. Maybe it's not like, oh, I loved cycling or I loved cooking or I loved this or I love that. Maybe it's, Maybe you don't have that thing. So what you need to do is you need to think about, think of situations where you feel you were at your best, with the best version of you, the real you, the happiest you were, the most productive you felt, the, the most complete you felt. Think about moments like that in your life and then break down what you were doing in those situations. Were you hanging out with friends? Were you out camping and exploring? Were you learning new things and experiencing new things what things were you doing and then you apply those and see okay what are the elements that I can apply to today now here's a warning if you are looking back and your best times where you felt happiest and the best is when you're hanging out with your friends and you're like drunk and high and doing nothing and kind of avoiding life kind of a thing just freaking stop right there, please, because you're not going in the right direction. Unless you guys hanging out, drinking and smoking weed are doing something inherently creative or, or, or inherently constructive, and you can maybe turn that into like a vlog or like a, a, a YouTube show or something, then you need to think someplace else, someplace where, where you're more clear-headed. Usually, I'm, I'm just going to put this out there. If your best times are intoxicated or high, you need to think of a new time because that's you can't be a professional smoker i don't think you can do something and be high but you can't be a professional smoker so let's just pass that and you can't be a professional alcoholic at least for very long think when you were younger think when things were more more clear you're in a position right now to where your things are up in the air things are ambiguous so think back to a time when things weren't so up in the air, that things weren't so ambiguous. Just find that time period when things were a little more clear for you and then find what you were doing in those time periods. That's, that's my suggestion. Think about if those are things that you loved, if those were things that you were really drawn to, the next step is to think about why you didn't focus on those at the, same, at the time, why you didn't focus on those activities or those hobbies or whatever at that time and what you're going to find is that you were scared but you have to figure out why you were scared for me as far as the music stuff i had no idea what to do to to get the music stuff going and it seems so ridiculous looking back on it now after having gone through a band and toured and done all that you know been on you know long beach records and been on the warp tour and done all these things it, it's just amazing how ignorant i was back in my in my teens about what to do but a lot of times it comes down to being scared because if you love something the last thing you want to do is for people to tell you that you suck at it so what do you do you just keep it kind of in your pocket and you keep it under wraps because you don't the thought of you of people telling you you suck at what you love 
is too hard for people to handle, so they just don't do it. And that's the exact opposite of what you should do. You should love it and go for it because when you love something, you can you get the ability to push through the bad stuff. When you're dealing with your northern star and dealing with your passion because you have a direction, you don't know the path. So the path may be really rocky. There may be tons of hills. There may be rivers to cross. There may be you know battles to fight. But you know that you're headed in the right direction. So whatever comes for you, you know that that's stuff that you need to deal with because it's going to make you better. It's going to make you stronger. Once you find your, your passion and once you get past your fear and just push through the fear, it's scary. It's really freaking scary to go kind of off script and go off path because so many people are telling you all the time to go, you know, to stay on this path. You go on the, you know, the school, job, marriage, kids, retirement path. That's, it's easy to follow because you just go, oh, what am I going to do? We'll go to school. What am I going to do next? Oh, go to work. What am I going to do next? Oh, get married, have kids, blah, 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 get, retire. There's so many different things that you can do and it's really scary, but just push through the fear and just make sure that you are doing third step, putting in some serious time. There are things that you're going to learn about yourself and you're going to learn about your craft and you're going to learn about your hobbies that you're now turning into a career and your Northern Star that you never knew, but you'll never know them unless you crank through them, unless you really push and really push hard. And don't worry about you're two months in and you're not seeing returns and you're three months in and you're not seeing returns. Focus on the little gains. Focus on the fact that you are building up your strength and you're building up your quality. Because once it once you get out there, it's going to be awesome, but you have to be prepared. And the only way you're going to be prepared is putting in some serious time. Let's say, oh, I'm going to put in some serious time, but I'm, oh, I'm lazy. I don't have a work ethic. Well, if you're lazy and don't have a work ethic, the good news is, one, that you recognize that you're lazy and you don't have a good work ethic. But two, the good thing is you've conditioned yourself to be a lazy ass. So what do you do? You uncondition yourself to be a lazy ass. How do you do that? Audit the crap out of your days. Say, how did I spend my day? How did I spend the last 24 hours? What can I cut out? What can I add? How can I be more productive? How can I be in a better place? How can I do more? How can I cut out the BS, trim the fat? How can I do those things? And this is not something you're going to sit down and just write up one day and go, oh, cool, got it, done, boom, one day, no problem. This is something that's going to take months because you you don't even really know you and your work ethic yet, especially if you're lazy. And you don't really know how to apply yourself towards something that you really love doing. And now you that you have something you really love doing, you can trim out a whole bunch of stuff. Man, if you had told me, a few years ago that I wasn't going to watch sports very much, maybe a little bit of football, a little bit of basketball here and there, I would have thought you were out of your freaking mind. I was sports all the time. I was working out in the sports. That's all I was doing. And now because I'm doing all this kind of stuff and doing writing and doing blogging and vlogging and, and website designs and and social media marketing stuff, because I'm doing all those things, I don't have time for the sports thing. And it's cool. Why? Because Northern Star. I'm heading in this direction and I love heading in this direction. So once you start putting in time, things are going to change, but it's a constant audit. Constantly audit yourself. I'm constantly tweaking little things here and there. How can I be a little bit more productive? How can I make sure I'm a little bit more prepped for the day? How can I make sure I get a little better sleep so I'm better for the next day? All those things work together. So just constantly audit what you're doing and not to be critical of yourself, but to put yourself into a better position to be on this path. Number four, always remember that this is a direction and not a path, okay? If you are early 20s, let's say you're just graduating college or you're about to graduate college, the real world, the real world is very intimidating because it's wide open. You've been on a path since you were in kindergarten and now you're, there's no more path. The path, it, it ends, so what you're gonna what you're gonna be tempted to do is jump on another path, something that's just like a you're looking for that A plus B equals C. You're looking for that certification that's gonna get you this job. You're gonna get your credential that's gonna get you this job. You're gonna get you just you want straightforward because the the wide open is really intimidating, and um, some of you are gonna stay in school 
because it's you're more comfortable on that path and you're going to get masters and doctorates and all these things that you that you really don't need to do whatever the job is that you want to do but because it's it's easier to stay on that path accumulate more debt and stay comfortable in your little bubble for a couple more years then go out you're going to do that and you're going to do the job that your mom did because it's familiar and you're going to do the job that your dad did because it's familiar but what you're doing is you're not really focusing on you What's your northern star? You're not your mom. You are not your dad. You're not your brother or sister. You're you. And when you start jumping on other people's paths because it's easy to follow, because it's a path and not just a direction, you're you're really cheating yourself. And again, this is freaking scary. And again, this is something that I didn't realize until I was in my freaking 30s, which feels about 15 years too late. But keep it on the positive side and look at what you have left. So your life's not even, if you're in your 30s or 40s, your life's not even half over. So now you have a whole other half of your life to to do the right thing and to follow the right path. Don't be led astray by a path. Don't be led astray by the by what's what's easy and what's more accessible. Follow who you are. Follow your northern star. Don't follow a societal path that that gives you an easy way to do things because what you'll end up doing is you'll end up out somewhere on a path on a paved road but you'll be completely lost and that's a really crappy feeling because then you have to go back and find where you got lost and then start heading in the right direction so be who you are follow your northern star lesson number five as you you find your northern star you need to pick up the things that you know will work and you need to push aside the things that you know won't work once you know what your goal is and, how, and what direction you need to go in. As things come your way, you're going to be getting things from this way, things from this side. You're going to get job offers. You're going to get relationships. You're going to have friends do this. You're going to have friends do that. You're going to have parents say this. You're going to have parents say that. The things that don't, uh, that don't keep you on that path, you discard. And then the things that you come across your path that, that you think you may use later, pick those up. Pretend as you're going through this that you have, even if you have money, pretend like you have no money. Because then you have to learn the skills. And as you learn the skills to guide you towards your, your goal on your northern, your northern star path, as you, as you gain these, these, all these skills and stuff that are going to help you along the way, what that does is that gives you more opportunities. So you're going to go, and trust me on this, you're going to go from lost, I don't know what the hell to do, to, okay, I have this one thing that... I really like doing that I'm going to focus on. And then once you focus on this one thing, think of it, it's like a seed. You're planting a seed with the, your northern star seed and then it just, poof, it just grows and it's amazing. So this is just, I'm going to explain my experience just to show like it just, it went from I want to do music, I love music to all these different things. So so first thing, you want to do music. Okay, I want to... Uh, I want to do music, so I have to learn how to record stuff. So you learn how to record. So now I'm a music producer and I'm an audio engineer. Well, if I'm going to put the CD out, I'm going to have to, uh, for me, and this is for me, I'm going to have to buffer my past and and go full on obstacles so I'm not hiding behind anything. So what's the best route to do that? For me, it was, it was a book. Okay, so I'm going to do a book. So now uh, I'm an author. Now I can, I'm a self-published author. Now I know all the self-publishing stuff. I can do the, um, the Kindle formatting. I can do audiobook recording. I'm a book promoter. Books need websites. I can, now I can build websites. I need to design stuff. So I need to design a cover. I need to design my, um, I need to design the website. So now I'm a graphic designer and you start learning all these things and, 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 and you know they're going to be useful later. And you're like, well, now let's see. Well, I want to help people with my book, but now I really want to help people a lot. I want to help people more than just the book. Instead of, people, instead of people trying to find the book, I just want to go to the people. So what do I do? You start a vlog. Now I'm a vlogger. Then I'm a blogger. Then I'm uh, a YouTuber. Now I'm, uh, now I'm doing... Uh, you know, videography. Now I'm a photographer. And you take all these things and, and, and you love all these things because they're all heading, they're all helping you get to where you want to go. And one thing that I really, 
that I figured out along the way was I loved music, but it wasn't just the music that I loved. I loved creating. And everything that I had to do just, you know, had that one goal, the one goal, we're going to do music, put out an album, do this stuff. Because of that one goal, I found all these other avenues for creation. You know, the, the, the web design and the graphic design and the music and the recording and the mixing and the mastering and the, and the vlogging and the photography and the videography and all these things come together. And then it's interacting with all these, with all these new cool people on things like, you know, like Facebook and Twitter and, 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 and Instagram and Snapchat and now YouTube. And, and it, just, it just opened up this whole thing and it all started with this one thing, this one thing that I've loved since I was a little kid. This, this, when I used to play along with Van Halen with my mom's tennis racket, when I cut out a cardboard guitar that looked like James Hetfield's guitar in sixth grade and I would be playing the Black Album. And then when I got the real guitar, this little baby thing that's been there since I rode around with my brother when I was eight listening to Back in Black and it turned into this, it just blew up. So now there's all these things that I can do. And on top of that, I want to do all those things better, which means I want to get be more creative. And so what do I do? I learned, you know, follow sleep studies and nutrition and cooking and, and working out and all these things that, that help make your, make your body better and make your brain better, which then allow me to be more creative and allow me to create more things and be better. And then it went from, and this is a relatively short period of time. I mean, I had complete chaos for like three years of my life. So, th- so this is really, this is like the last, let's say like, 20 months of my life, 18, 20 months of my life have been focused on this. And I've gained so many skills just by listening to myself and just by figuring out what's my Northern star, how can I get there and what's going to, what's going to put me in the best position to be whatever that is just by following it. And it, it turned and it's turning out to be just like, I love waking up super early. I love, I work my ass off and I love doing it. And it's, it's all because you, you're you're figuring out kind of who you are by looking back at who you've been and figuring out what's worked because the things that come up over and over and over again, those are the things that you need to latch onto. Those are those things that keep coming up for a reason. And you need to sit and you need to listen to yourself. So what I want you to do after you finish this is just sit and be quiet and listen. What are you selling yourself? What are you saying to yourself? Who are you? When are you your happiest? When are you at your best? Just listen. Now follow and enjoy the journey. I'll see you next time. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what?